this week's celebration assembly and it's been another fun-filled positive week of learning with the sun shining and even some special visitors this week. I can't tell you how lovely it was to see your big beaming smiles as you came into school and when you first saw our mobile farm yesterday. I hope you enjoyed it. It was so nice to finally do something just a little bit extra special again and let's hope there will be a few more things along the way this summer term uh, to enjoy just like we did yesterday with the farm. But I am sure the teachers have had lots of things to think about this week as to who is going to be awarded as a star of the week. So let's find out now and go straight to our teachers. Here we go. Hi everybody, it's Mrs Kendall here on the bottom floor and I've actually sneaked into Miss Folks's classroom to video this. Now, in Mill class this week, despite the gloomy weather outside, the sunshine has been shining brightly and we've been really, really busy thinking about our food and where it comes from this week. And we've been studying all about supermarkets and shopping and we even had a visit from a farm and we had a lovely time um, learning all about the different animals and what their babies are called and what they grow up to and what they can do as well. So we had a lovely time on Thursday with our mobile farm. So that was a real treat this week. As usual, a very tricky decision for me about who the star of the week was going to be. But this person has really, really stood out this week. He has been so very, very dependable, just like Daisy here, um, and just gone out of his way to be so super helpful around the classroom. The other day, there were so many paper towels um, scattered in the toilet, and this person went to pick them up. I hadn't even asked him, and he picked them up and put them in the bin, and that was such a big help for everybody. And he's been doing little things like that all week, and I've noticed all of them. So thank you to this little person. He's also been trying so very hard with all of his learning, particularly with his writing that he does find a little bit tricky, but I think he's really, really cracking it and he's thinking about how to hold his pen and how his letters are formed. So I'm so proud of his determination and his resilience. So the star of the week this week in Milne class goes to Theo. Good morning everyone, hope you're all well. Now we've enjoyed another cracking week of learning up here on the top floor in our year five Pullman class. And my star of the week has been enjoying getting involved in all of those activities. Now my star is actually one of the quieter members of our class. They don't make such a splash and a song and dance about being in class, but they're always uh, working really hard. And I know they're dependable like Daisy. They have, however, since September, and particularly since we came back into school since Easter, continued to grow their confidence. And furthermore, I've noticed their intrepidity. They're getting braver and I come in in the morning and they're getting stuck into our early bird activities, for example. But what really stood out for us in Pullman class this week was when we were taking part in a reading skills quiz where we were having a look at the story we've been reading and we're having a bit of a fun quiz about all the things that have happened so far um, in each chapter. Well, well, this person, my star of the week, really stepped up. They were so, so passionate, like Paolo, about this and their hand was flying up, wanting to answer questions um, about the different parts of the book. And, well, we were so amazed and it was wonderful to see this person really flourishing and flowering. And they've continued to work earnestly and with great passion in all our lessons this week since then. So it's my very great pleasure to announce that my star of the week is Amy. <laughs> Here from Morpurgo class on the middle floor with my star of the week. 
What a funny week to choose a start of the week. Monday was a bank holiday, and then Wednesday I was working from home because I was on a course, so I haven't seen very much of the children. I have, however, managed to choose a star of the week, and my star of the week is an always person, always making good choices, always following instructions, always showing an amazing amount of passion for her learning. My star of the week also was mentioned to me as someone as being super dependable on Wednesday when it was Mr Walsh in the classroom. So I'm really proud of her for this. She makes me smile. She makes me laugh. She is just full of energy and enthusiasm. My star of the week this week is Taya. Good morning, Team GR. I hope you're all okay and have had a great week. It's been a bit rainy outside, but the sun has definitely been shining inside. We've had such a successful week and it's an exciting one too. We had a visit from Ian's farm yesterday and the children thoroughly enjoyed the experience and learning all about the animals. Um, I hope the rest of the children who managed to visit had lots of fun too. My star of the week this week is someone who I've noticed and Mrs. Castellanizio is a lot more focused with his learning and his listening on the carpet and he's turned into a real independent learner which means that he's dependable like Daisy making the right choice focused on his independent learning and showing us what he is capable of and he's always just so so dependable doing the right thing and I can really see his passion for learning coming back again now so for all those reasons our star of the week this week in Dahl class it's Ayan! Well done, Ayan! Good morning, it's Mr. Harrison here from Taylor Class on the top floor. So, Mr. Walsh and I have been discussing our star of the week this week, and we both arrived to the same conclusion. We've chosen a star of the week who, day in, day out, shows the highest levels of dependability and the highest levels of passion for her learning. She is so engaged in the year six curriculum that it just blows us away every time that we see her cracking on with her work in the class. Uh, whether it's her fabulous writing, whether it's her wonderful science work, whether it's the way she's engaging with PE or with computing, uh, but in particular, the way she engages with her maths work. Um, she's just been blowing us away on a daily basis. So for being so passionate and so dependable every moment in her learning, our star of the week is Beth. Hi everybody, it's time for my favourite part of the week. It's celebration assembly and I love seeing everybody and celebrating everybody's success. Now, in my classroom this week, Reynolds class have um, started to explore electricity and our stunning start was using energy sticks and our chirping chick and we were thinking about how to make the chick chirp. Hmm, do you think you could make the chick, the chick chirp? Bit of a tongue twister. Well, my class worked out that if you pop him on your hand He chirps, and we've been thinking about why that might be. Now, my star of the week has impressed me this week because she has dived into our new topic of electricity and she has shown so much enthusiasm. We've also started a new book in English and she's made an incredible fact file on Malawi and she lights up our classroom every day with her ideas and her smile. And you know what? I think that Every single day, every single week, I can depend on this person to be doing the right thing. She always shows our five pride values and she's always climbing up the sunshine board and reaching the smiley sun. So for just being a pleasure to teach and showing passion all week in everything we've done, my star of the week is... Beatrice. Hi everyone, Miss Barrett here um, from Rosen Class on the ground floor. 
So time to choose star of the week again. It's absolutely flown round. I can't believe it's Celebration Assembly again. But we have had a really lovely week again. Now, it's been a bit funny, actually. Um, I think it threw us a little bit not being here on Monday, but we've still had a lovely week. Um, and the person I've chosen for Star of the Week has definitely had a really lovely week. Um, we had a visit from the farm this week, and we've been getting really stuck into our geography topic. And our Star of the Week has really impressed me with her attitude towards our learning. She is one of the always people. She is an always trying her best. She is always doing the right thing. She is always doing everything with the biggest smile on her face and she's just a delight to have in our class. She tries hard to show the pride values in absolutely everything that she does um, and she's also a really lovely friend. Just like Ellie, she is so empathetic. But I've been really impressed this week because this person wrote the most amazing story at home this week and brought it in to show us and it even had chapters and everything. It just blew me away. So for being an all-round superstar, for working hard all the time, our star of the week is Karina! <laughs> Howard here from over in the house. Uh, the sun has been shining really brightly over here in the house this week even if it's been raining outside. We have done some super learning and everyone is really proud of the children over here and what they've achieved this week. So the person who's got star of the week in the house is one of our younger members of the house and they have shown real passion for their learning, looking at different numbers and looking at different letters and sounds. They are beginning to show us what an incredible little voice they've got. And it is so, so pleasing to see. We are super proud of the progress that this person is making. So a very well done and our star of the week this week in the house is Brennan. Well done, Brennan, darling. I feel good morning, Team GR. It's Mrs. Homburg from Surdish Pandy Class on the top floor of the Tower of Power. And we've had a really sunny week in our classroom. And we have started our geography topic and we're learning all about coasts so we've been looking at physical and human features and natural features and we've done some really really super work on that we've loved our book about the boy who harnessed the wind and we're quite fascinated about malawi we've done some amazing fact files my star of the week always shines brightly but I have noticed her shining even more brightly this week. She is absolutely focused every minute of the day. She's actually quite new to our class. She appeared in January and I didn't get to meet her till March. And I was so glad when I did because she is an absolute superstar and it is brilliant to have her in our class. She's only learnt about our pride values for a few short weeks, but do you know what? She is a great role model for them. She's always passionate. She's resilient and she's always intrepid. Her hand is always up. She's always desperate to share her ideas. She's a super kind talk partner and she is a real asset to Surdish Pandy class. So all my class are busy pointing because they've known for a long time who she is. So really, really well done. I'm so glad you're here and you're an absolute superstar. Well done, Pearl. Hello everyone, Mrs Mengam here from Donaldson class. And it's the end of another fabulous week down here in Donaldson with my superstar class who have all been working their socks off and making me proud yet again. Our star of the week this week is someone who is dependable, just like Daisy. We can really rely on this person, not only to do their best with their work, but to always quietly have a smile on their face 
and bring smiles to other people's faces. The person is also resilient, just like Rocco. Always persevering, trying their best, keeping going, finding ways to succeed. I wonder who it could be. It could be lots of our Donaldson superstars in fairness, but our star of the week this week is the wonderful, the fabulous Jake. Keep up the great work, Jake. Hello, this is Mrs. Rabina from Ralph Class. The weather in Ralph Class this week has been incredibly warm. The sun has been shining every day and I have been incredibly impressed by the behaviour of every single member of Ralph Class. Choosing this week's Star of the Week was therefore particularly hard. But when I sat down and really thought, one boy in particular came to mind. This person has found things a bit tricky this week and there's been a couple of times he's really sunk into the learning pit. But what has really impressed me is that every time he has shown real resilience and passion and got come out of the other side with a fantastic piece of work. This is someone who has thought carefully, who has been really dependable and who I'm really proud of making so much effort. Nick, this week's Star of the Week is for you. Well done. Good morning everyone, I hope you're all well and I hope you've had a fantastic week. It has been a really exciting week in Key Stage 1, namely one of our key events has been our mobile farm visit which lots of us have had great fun um, meeting and seeing new animals or getting to pet some of them so that has been incredible and amongst all of that really exciting learning that we've been doing, somebody has just shone out to me as my star of the week. Now my star of the week this week has just got their head down and been working incredibly hard all the way through my time teaching them this week. I've noticed them in our transitions from lunchtime into our afternoons coming in really calmly and smartly, making sure that everyone is following their, their actions, their behaviours, and it's really helped other people around them to make good choices. So well done for being dependable. They have also got an award from me already this week for their beautiful handwriting. Um, they were my handwriting champion earlier on in the week. They were working really, really hard, uh, making sure that they were working on some feedback, but also making sure that they were making every letter as best that they possibly could. And they worked so hard on this. I was so proud. This person has also had to be really resilient this week and work and we're working continuously on their, your resilience as well. But you've worked incredibly hard with taking on those challenges, taking risks and being resilient, just like Rocco. And I'm really seeing your confidence grow and grow every single day. So for all of those fantastic reasons, my star of the week this week from Rosen class is Genevieve. <laughs> Good morning everyone, Mr Smith here. My shout out this week is for someone in Rosen class and it's someone who each time I see them works so incredibly hard. It's been lovely to see how much their confidence has grown and last time we even swapped our roles round and this young man became the teacher. So for being an absolute superstar, my shout out is for Kieran. Hello, Miss Maud here. I'd like to give three shout outs to three different year four ladies. My first one is for a lady who was not quite feeling the daily mile one day and she took some top tips and she was tired and she was just still not feeling it but then she just got on with it and she did an amazing run walk daily mile and felt amazing afterwards. So this shout out's for you Cleo. The second one is for another young lady who just showed amazing empathy. The situation happened, it was discussed, and her response was really, really, really grown up um, and massive empathy. So that shout out is for you, Nicola. And the final one is actually not from the Monpurgo class, this is from uh, Swedish Panda class. I'd like to give a shout out to 
a lady who I've seen very, very helpful always at break times and play times. Just always that one who cares for people. But I saw a particular incident this week where she really took care of her friend and again, empathy was just off the scale. So this shout out is for Pearl. Thank you. Mr P's Team GR Star of the Week goes to one of our teachers who is really passionate about maths and has worked really hard in the last few weeks helping to launch early bird maths across the school so that you can get stuck straight into some exciting learning when you come into school first thing in the morning and also launching uh, number bots across the ground floor. So my star this week is our maths leader. It is Miss Folks. <laughs> to celebrate the children who have reached the smiley sun this week or have had a head teacher's award but before we do that i would like to introduce you to frank our new school dog who is going to be spending some time getting used to school before he meets some of you but i'm going to give frank a special head teacher's award because he is doing so well at getting used to our school environment and he is going to be spending some time with you soon. So I'd like you to all say a big good morning to Frank and you will get to see him very soon. All of you who have reached the Smiley Sun or had a head teacher's award, a great big team GR. Whoop, whoop. Have a lovely weekend. It is goodbye from me, Mr. P. And it is goodbye from Mrs. Mengham, Mrs. Kendall, Miss Folks, Miss Barrett, Mr. Mole, Miss Atkinson, Mrs. Smithson, Mrs. Homburg, Mr. Morland, Mrs. Rabina, Mr. Harrison, and everyone at Team GR. Have a lovely weekend, stay safe, look after each other, and be ready for lots more exciting learning next week. See you soon.